right, hey guys, we're going to be doing another episode of Marvel 2 of them. We're currently in Sauron's cave, uh, a dinosaur iron, or jungle land of some sort. And, uh, we got all these voodoo hunter guys with low guards and weird dumb people. But uh, yeah, before I got into the cave, um, I was fighting raptors and there was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't know if that's what it was called, but I saw him die when I entered the screen. So, I didn't get to see what it was called, but it is a big freaking raptor. Let's go in here, things. Is there nowhere in a group? And we're in a cave, but I've never seen a little instance like this inside the cave. Yeah, here is the dinosaur. See? That old line. Good. Nice. Take that. Piece of armor for cable, did you see that? I don't know if cable was in this game. Well I know like all probably most of the Marvel characters are in this game, but yeah, I remember cable being a hard ass. Unless I'm thinking of someone else, but I think I'm thinking of the right guy. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm thinking of the right guy. I don't think I've seen him yet. Maybe I have, I don't remember. On with the killing, yeah? Right, let's see, what do we got here? Nothing, nothing worth my while. Walking around, where things go? I love having, uh, you know, these, the mini map, the red markers on the mini map for, uh, the enemies are. It, it helps more than you think it does, because um, you know how to prepare for the fight that you're coming into. Like if I see a ton of people one way, I know to get ready to use all my abilities right when they, you know, show up. But if uh, there's only two or three dots, I could probably just use one of my abilities and take them all off. So. Oh, that's cool. Spider-Man can swing. Oh, that's pretty badass. <laughs> and here's Sauron. He is a pterodactyl. And I got a joke for you guys. You've probably heard this before. But, uh, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going through the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. That's right. The pee is silent. Kind of like. Uh, what's that Leonardo DiCaprio movie? The Jingo Unchained? The Jingo Unchained? Yeah, I never saw that movie. Probably need to see it, you know, because I've heard it's really good, it's really funny, all that other stuff, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, I just didn't see it. And I'm probably going to regret it, but yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, coming in right here to Kazar. Thank you, Kazar, what did you just give me? You gave me a artifact that you had to be 21 to use. Hmm. What's a critical chance for any movement power? Like, my slow, maybe? I'm thinking fly? You can critically fly? Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, as stupid as that sounds, I don't know. I'm not going to judge this game before, you know, I see what it's talking about. But I'm thinking it's uh, your slow abilities, like uh, your snares, have a 17% chance to crit. Right. I'm still in this group, so I'm going to leave the group. Wait. I'm going to turn towards the next one. 
King River. That's what they're called. Yeah. Thanks, Hawkeye. I didn't need your help, but you know. The more the merrier. Hey. That nice defense and quickness. Screw you guys. Alright, come on, Sam Anders. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Got a lot of guys over here. Okay, with the mini map, you can get a jump on, just like that. Without that mini map, I would have walked in there full speed. Probably not have gotten that snare off like I wanted to. I would have still gotten it off, just kind of hit everybody once. Let's keep walking this way, shall we? Question coming up. Whenever it gets close, you get this little marker on your screen. Thunder River. Can I fly over there? Oh, hell yeah! Talk about cheating. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty awesome that you can fly over boundaries like that. You know, like the thing in the hall, probably can't jump over it. They have to go all the way around. First player makes probably swing over it. You got sensor arrays, huh? What's over here? Plus one power point, and we have a cutscene. What the hell is going on there? What the hell? The alien brood have taken over the shield science station. What are they doing? Beast. They're transforming everyone into mindless brood offspring. That's not nice. <laughs> soon, we will begin nice. harvesting all the indigenous I people have your of the land. If we hurry, I should be able to reverse the transformation process. But... But, we'll need to get inside. Then we do it. Let's go, people! Let's go, people.